Seven Sisters hike is a 14 mile route along breathtaking chalk cliffs in the South Downs National Park. Join me as I take on this stunning hike along one of the most picturesque coastal paths the UK has to offer, taking in the wildlife, history and rugged beauty of this classic cliff top walk. Hello and welcome to another video. On this one we're doing the Seven Sisters cliff hike from Seaford to Eastbourne. And it's something that I've had my eye on for quite some time since I did the South Downs Way. It splits off into two different directions, one of at top and then other one comes down and round here. And so I missed this whole section off. I was inundated with about three messages of people saying Oh mate, you missed out on some quality, quality noggin bollock fodder down there. So, I've wanted to do it for a long time, so now I'm doing it. It's been a bit of a chew, but I've uh, managed to get the train to Seaford. And then I'm going to hike along these cliffs, join onto the South Downs Way and finish in Eastbourne. Join me if you like, it's only a day hike. I am camping, despite big bag, I've taken brain off the... Uh, the top lid off my uh, Osprey Exos 48 litre. It's like a sheer drop and it's coming away there, isn't it? Whoa. That gives me eebie-jeebies in nutbag, that, if I go too close to edge. Let's get, get away from it. It's only a one-parter, it's just a, a day hike. And I'm not even sure on the mileage. 14, I'm saying, maybe? I'm in boiling bag. I was using it as a windbreak because wind was up this morning and it would just keep it wind off me but although it is very waterproof this top it's like a it's more of a running top trail running pop no frills no pockets are out as light as an angel's armpit hair but not very breathable so I'm starting to boil it in bag I have to de de layer let's we'll get up to the top of here and see how windy she is I'm done in already I've only come up this hill. It takes a while, doesn't it, to get legs under you. You get found out on the first hill. I get used to it, but I've not been exercising or, or anything because I've been so busy helping Fern with her book launch party. She had a launch for a book, which is this. Go grab it if you want to get yourself a, a book about foraging. She put a lot of work into it, it's excellent. And uh, it was a book launch party, so. It was all hands on deck for that, which was a great success. Hello to anyone who was there who I met. His lads playing golf, look. Sound. Uh, and them dealing with puppies. <laughs> with dogs. Who have all gone now. They've gone off to their, to their uh, mums and they're starting to be homed. For the few people that said, oh, you should get a rescue dog, I don't agree with having puppies and that. No, neither do I. It was just like a chance encounter in a park between the mum and this other dog and you know what, you know what, birds and bees. One thing led to another, a couple of dry white wives, bosh, uppeth the duffeth. And so that's that. Yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore, Dor we're not in Yorkshire anymore, Dorothy. All these beautiful white cliffs. I'm going as far as the eye can see and beyond. Medic! As cooked! I'm cooking. Ha! <laughs> Tis the season, it's soon be time for that little shorts. I've got my vents open and a t shirt on now, as you can see. <laughs> cool, cool story, bro. Sound job, let's bat on. <laughs> doing not walk backs because it's just a day hike I can empty the tank leave it all out here I was thinking well should I get a wild camping but then it doesn't make sense because I can get all the way to Eastbourne in a day a good day's hike so I might as well just do that and it's a separate hike the seven sisters 
is a beautiful hike as you can see and so people might just want to do this hike and see see it see it as just a day hike just go up here and have a look mate come on <laughs> even like you can run about and stuff can't you on day hikes because you're not pres oh am i gonna shat it if i look off here look at it i don't do it i can't do it i can't do it mate because it call it void the call of the void ah! makes my skin crawl it makes me think i've mentioned it before the call of the void is when uh, there's a french word for it that uh, and it means call of the void and it really only happens in men i think it said on the internet but it's that feeling of when you get up to somewhere like that you can't trust your own brain box to, to not like throw you off ends <laughs> that's how i feel like on top and there's a little voice being Ooh, what if you jumped and then i get so like oh my god my knees start to quiver i'm like oh, fuck, i'm gonna jump off can't be trusted uh, but beautiful beautiful views and lovely walking i've said it before i love this just on this shortly cut just short cut grass nice and soft underfoot the sea out to me right <sighs> it's perfect mate it's perfect and some of you won't know because he's not been on for a while but some of you will stand up your drinks will go everywhere and you'll salute the sky when i tell you that i've got joey d coming out with me do, 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 do. yes for uh we're doing a multi-day hike it's gonna be like two or three days because he could use you know his times 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 tight for joey d these days so getting him for two or three days is a is a good booking and we're gonna do something a little bit special i'm not gonna spoil it for you now but well, it's not that good but i think it's mint and it's something that we've talked about for many years that we've wanted to do and we finally we finally planned it all and we're gonna get it done so that'll be the next video me and von diddle biscuits thanks. no mate you all right good how are you yeah, i'm good thanks what are you up to we're just clearing some of the clearing some of the smeg that's good oh shout out this welly sorry i'm just i'm just making a little film of me hike and uh, Okay. Big advocate of leaving no trace when I'm out camping and stuff, so this is great. Mm -hmm. What are you, is it council or is it, oh, Wildlife, wildlife Trust. Wildlife Trust, yeah, Sussex Wildlife Trust. Do you mind me just filming this little bit? Uh, no, that's, that's fine. No. Sure that's fine. What's the hotel, can you, what have you, you just come down here and you, you, you're down there collecting it off that bit down no, there? No, some, some of it's stuff that's been collected and left, but. Um, People do a lot of beach cleans, but then they don't get collected from oh they bring it from the beach and it yeah. oh that's good isn't it everyone working together in a way but some of this is just people passing have just dumped their rubbish as well oh, yeah. they've seen that there's a pile oh yeah i guess then it creates a bin area doesn't it for yeah. people to yeah lose in battle do you ever get any good finds that might you might keep like have you got loads of random stuff all over your house like nets and no, bones and stuff lots of stuff things like Poo bags, which... Oh, shit bags, yeah, dog <laughs> no, shit bags. No one wants to keep. No, wrapping it in a non-disposable bag and then leaving it is yeah. a bit of a... It's a wrong one, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's terrible. Right, Sussex, Wild, Sussex Wildlife Trust. Good work, guys. Thank keep you Keep it up. Much. Enjoy the rest of your walk. Yeah, cheers, mate. See ya. There we go. Sussex Wildlife Trust. Cleaning up after you mucky beggars, whoever you are. But I guess it works, doesn't it? Because... People do beach cleanups, like he said, and then just leave it there, and then they come and get it. Now they've got to get half a trailer full. Quick three sixed. I like this. I like this trail, mate. But be prepared for other organ bags to be on it, like these guys. It's maybe not one for the remote solitude seekers out there. There's a few humans on it. I'm craving a bit of that solitude at the moment, mate. There's <sighs> a lot of stuff going on. People doubt I need to get away. This does it though, doesn't it? This ticks boxes. 
Sea beat, chard, whatever you want to call it. You can take my word, you haven't got to hurt no more. Things are about to get much better. I want to make this forever. I want to make this forever. That's not on the map, I can just cut across here and then back up onto the cliffs, but <laughs> there's this thing. I've looked at crossing, but it, there's all sorts of warnings saying it's really deep, fast flowing. Not having any of it, man. Not having any of it. So we follow it up here, we cut in land, turn right, and that is where I'll meet the South Downs Way, where I left it to go over at tops. I'll meet it, we'll come back down and we'll carry on along the coast. few and far between so we'll give you a look there's a lot going on lovely mechanism oh. I didn't catch it very oh, sorry sorry it's not catching it's just not good enough sorry we're back baby we're back what are you saying I'm already disappointed in this there's no cover on it, it's just roughly sawn. Oh my god! That put an hole in a watermelon. Let's have a look. See if nature will do its thing. Clump click. Yeah, can't fault it, not bad. Right, we're off up here, round, back onto the tops for a lovely sea view, hopefully. Heifers, and a gate, sensory overload. Okay. Yes. On second bite. Right then, lads. Is it that way or is it through cows? Uh, quick map check. Sorry, lads, but it's this way. Would have loved to have hung out with you, but see ya. Look at that. Seen some use on it. So we'll forgive it if it's a bit crusty. Bit of a nudge, we'll forgive it. And this here, with the purple flowers on, is ground ivy. We'll take a bit of this. I don't know if I'll use it. We'll take it a bit further back here where it's away from any chance of any piss. It's good clobber to make a tea with. It's good for your retrospiro. It's good for your respiratory system. Uh, helps with breathing and that. We'll get some of that and I'll make a brew. We've run this hike or at a later date. Pop it in chest pouch. Alright mate. Oh no! Hey Siri, who would win in a fight between me and this horse? You alright? You good? Yes, look. Give us a lift. Right, away. Good lad. Look at that view. I'm gonna have five minutes here with that view. Let's have a seat. Come on. You go there. 
Maybe. You can probably fall over there, won't you? Ow! Spiners. <laughs> this bad boy that I got from Worthing before I set off. Oh, I love that. It's a little trail snack. An almond croissant. <laughs> Regarde. What we're saying. Don't. <laughs> Electrolytes, mate. It's got to be done. Mm. Look at that. It's got all gooey almond nuts inside. Best place I've ever eaten an almond croissant, if you were wondering. I'm enjoying this hike, and I'm enjoying that it's a day hike. Not having to sleep in bag and tent with me. I'm not having to think about when it gets dark, where to camp. Just loving it for the day that it is. And I've looked out with the weather, it was supposed to be raining now, but... Glorious. Well, I'm gonna eat me croissant, then we'll get going. You are here. Haven Brow, Short Brow, Rough Brow, Brass Point, Flagstaff, Flat Hill, Bailey's Hill, Went Hill, Berlin Gap. You're at the halfway point along the Seven Sisters. Look east towards Beltout Lighthouse and imagine a scene long ago as customs officers defended this coastline against smugglers. Below you is the site of Crowlink Coast Guard Station. All that remains today are telltale banks and hollows in the grassland. Recent archaeological work shed light on the day-to-day -day life of the people living here. The excavations unearthed household objects including plates, saucers, beer bottles, pins, pipes and, and gilt Coast Guard buttons dating from 1820. Up and downs <whistles> that we're uh, that we're dealing with at the moment but they're nice they're nice you get a nice bit of a downhill and a break from the wind when you're in this little valley and these cliffs are something else man chalk white sheer drops and spectacular and I couldn't have chose a better day for it and as that thing said we're about halfway along the seven sisters and uh, you don't have to you wouldn't have to start where I started in wherever the wherever it was I started I can't remember now because this is not my ends I don't know where anything is don't know names for out yet uh, but you don't have to start where I started there's a there's a bus stop and a car park and a visitors center at the beginning of the seven sisters if you just wanted to do the seven sisters hike Let's meet down at the lonely lake Before summer has gone away Swim out under Who this? The Saracen Stone Presented by Viscount Gage <laughs> I could do with a gauge. A furl was erected by the Society of Sussex Downsmen in appreciation of the generosity of William Charles Campbell Esquire, to whose munificent donation to the Seven Sisters Preservation Fund was largely due to the purchase of Crown Link Valley for the use and enjoyment of the nation, 1926. Do, 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 do. You probably just heard me read all that in one, but I'll oh, maybe I chopped it in with some stuff like this, look. I'll chop it in with things like this. I'll have chopped it in with little views like that, look. 
Uh, maybe even get one at stone like that. But the reality is it took me far too long to read that. <laughs> far too long. Kept messing up. I think I was a bit far away from it. Plus the fact that all words get jumbled up in my brain. Not the best. Not the best at reading. Or writing. Or spelling. Or grammar. Or running. Or cartwheels. Or roly polies. Or baking. Or dancing. I am actually very, very good at baking and dancing, TBH, but the rest. Michael Dean was bequeathed, or Mitchell Dean was bequeathed to the National Trust by W. A. Robertson in memory of his in memory of his brothers Norman da 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 Google it. The Seven Sisters chalk cliffs have been changing for many thousands of years. The land here was originally joined in France until sea levels rose and the English Channel was formed. Waves, wind, rain and ice continually erode the soft cliffs which keeps their edges sheer and unstable and maintains their brilliant white colour. Feeding the beach with flints washed from the bands found in the cliffs. The cliffs are receding by an average of 70 centimetres a year but in stormy periods the loss may be greater. The Seven Sisters are said to have been named by mariners who looked out for them when returning from sailing on the stormy seas. It always gets me that. It's mad that some humans get to that stage, some of us get to that stage where that seems like the best way out. And I aren't going to get too deep and too into it. This is a day hike. We're not three or four days deep into a multi-day hike where we, get, we go all in, but just want to take a moment. And also, I'll leave the number for the Samaritans there if anyone's sort of sort of needs a chat and they don't have anyone to chat to you can give them a ring Beachy Head was the major operational route outbound from the United Kingdom for the airmen of the Royal Air Force Bomber Command when taking the war to the enemy they fought in the skies above the enemy and paid the terrible price that war demands there's Eastbourne Airborne to Eastbourne, come in, this is your captain speaking. This bit's glorious man, I've just dropped down off the top and the wind's subsided. It's delightful. And I just had a military helicopter, some like Chinooky type thing, Chinook type thing, bez past just at the, on eye level. That was a brute. The big metal death parrot strikes again. He's more like a bumblebee than a parrot. Like a big, clumsy, brutal bumblebee. Brumblebee. Uh, no. No, brain's going. Got about half an hour left in saddle. Just shy of two mile. Something like that. And we'll go tap out 
on the end of the uh, South Downs Way. No, I don't feel like I deserve it, but I think it's uh, it's justified, isn't it? Because I've done the South Downs Way, so it's my I've clocked it, I've collected it, I've levelled up, I've gained that monument. That's in bank, so I can come and tap out on it whenever I like. If I'd not done the South Downs Way and I'd just done this bit and then I was like, boom, the South Downs Way, no, get off. <laughs> That's what you got out of the That's what should happen. A little electric shock. But no, I've clocked it, I own it, it's in backpack, it's in trophy room, it's in memory banks. So I'm gonna go happy slap it and that'll be that but here's Bournemouth look <laughs> for the second time in my life who would have known it who would have thunk it the raffle for my pioneer 210 ends this sunday so in two days i'll leave a link below if you want to get yourself a ticket they're only three quid you can get as many as you want and you'll be entered every time you buy one so you get more chances of winning and 10 percent of everything goes to mental health uk it helps me pay for petrol and bits and pieces that go towards the channel and help me make more content for youtube and facebook and myspace and right move and look how look at this what the f What's that? Just in the middle of all here, there's just like a beautifully mowed green bit. Ah, look, bits of white. What's that? Oh, someone's going to know this. Looks like, what is it? Rounders. Baseball. You stand in that... Si no. What is it? Aliens. If anyone, can you see that? On there? Probably not, actually. So I'm stood in a box, there's a box there, it's not even squared up to it. Whoever's done that's cock-eyed, unless it's meant to be like that. If you know what it is, let me know. I'm curious as to what that is. <laughs> and who's brought down a little, like a... What is it? Uh, cricket? Stumbled ac across a secret cricket pitch. It's boggled me, that. It's boggled me. Uh, where was I? Don't even know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it helps. <laughs> it helps me uh, make more content for um, Friends Reunited and whatever. Uh, that's baffled me. That's thrown me. Yeah. So I do appreciate it, everybody who uh, who enters the raffle. Um, congratulations to the last winner, who thankfully was from Yorkshire, so I didn't have to travel too far. I managed to get him, I met him in a car park and exchanged blades and axes and saws and beers. That was good. And also congratulations to the winner of the full camping kit that I put together. It wasn't a, it wasn't a raffle or anything, it was just a, a free giveaway. I wanted it to go to someone who would use it and I dropped that off to Heather on the way down south and I met her and her partner and uh, yeah, she looks like she's going to use it as as nature intended, which is good. I said, oh, if you're not going to use any little bits and pieces, just, you know, pass them on to someone who will get use out of them. But it, it seemed like they were going to use them and they seemed like a lovely couple. So congratulations to you two. Uh, and that's it, mate. <laughs> that's it. See you later, Madfield. <laughs> Part two, the fire lane. Look, South Downs Way, Jevington, four and a half miles, Winchester 100. That's what I did before. Beachy Head, one and a quarter miles. Uh, and that's what I've just done now. The Seven Sisters. Someone parked in the van there looking at me like I'm a lunatic. <laughs> right, I didn't think I'd see this again, but it's nice. It is nice to tap out on her again. I've enjoyed it, man. It's been a lovely look like. My next adventure is the long awaited arrival of Sir Joseph von disco biscuit and uh, hopefully that'll be the next video slash videos so stay tuned for that 
thanks for watching i love you all take care of yourselves and bye for now I've still got ages to go mate to get to the train station then two or three different trains or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Next. I don't wanna talk. How you try and press the kid and really you was soft. Uh, all you know is capping, homie. You don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. Uh, I just hit the start. Uh, I don't wanna speak. Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the plays. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Uh, watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease. You gon' see the peace. You gon' see the.